Really? I just had a good time with you. This makes me very happy. Now I'm going home. Shall we say see you next time? Yes. See you next time. But why is this evening so calm like that? Why aren't customers coming as usual? I still need money to pay my bills and my rent. I still hope that my roommate was able to find some money this month to support me with the expenses. I think today I will go home quickly, because I feel very tired. Really, I can't understand what's going on in my life. I had been looking for work for over three months. But without success. My life is not moving forward. I don't have a job, nor a husband, nor do I have children. I had been living in a shared apartment for several months. My life is a failure. Despite all the prayers I pray on a daily basis, I still continue to go in circles. I don't even have money to help with the house expenses. It was as if I had been bewitched. I wouldn't want to go back to the life of debauchery I had before. You are right, young lady. I'm the one who controls your life. As long as I am behind you, life will be very difficult for you. I will oppress you so much in this world. You will go around in circles all your life. You haven't seen anything yet. So, were you able to find a job? No. I had searched so hard. But no. If I understand. Will I be the only one still paying the rent this month? I promise you that I will fight to find a job soon. And as soon as I get my first salary, I will pay you back everything I owed you. There is no way I'm going to pay the house bills alone this month. What do you want me to do? I would like you to return to the night work you were doing before. There is no way I'm going to do this job again. I would no longer like to sell my body for money. Enough is enough now. Ah good. Let me tell you, you have no choice. Either you continue the work like me, or you will leave my house. No. Do not say that. And yes my little one, for me, you are destined to sell your body to men, throughout your life, until one fine day, you catch a sexually transmitted disease. And like that, your life will be ruined, forever. Now agree to go back to your job. You know what? My decision is made, and irrevocable. Please give me a few days, so I can still look for work. It's out of the question. Either you now agree to take over our business, or you leave my house immediately. Please don't fire me. Otherwise, I might end up on the street. In that case, just agree to go back to your night job then. You know very well that you had no one to shelter you. If I were in your place I would accept this, without thinking too much. Just accept, young lady. Good. I've made my decision. I'm going to leave this house. But I will never return to the streets, selling this beautiful, glorious body that God gave me. Good luck to you then. Thanks. Bye. Bye. It is not possible. She had just refused her friend's proposal. Young woman, know that I will always be behind you. Oh my god. I beg you, help me. Because I can't take my situation anymore. Today I find myself on the street again. I would no longer like to live in sexual debauchery. I have no one except you. Come help me. Because I would no longer like to return to the prostitution that I had abandoned. You don't even keep the commandments of your god. And you want him to listen to you. Your god doesn't have your time. I'm sure that in a few days she will come back and beg me. Because I know she doesn't have any money on her to be able to meet her needs. And buy food. I had been living on the street for several days. Today, I'm going to go to all the stores to ask for work. I will go see this lady, to ask her for work. Wow. What do I see like this? There is a monster following this young girl. Hello Mrs. Good Morning. Please, I'm looking for work. Can you find me a job in your business? Don't give her work. Otherwise, you will see what will happen to you. What had I just seen like that? Please? I'm sorry young lady. I don't have any work to give you. Please. 
because I wouldn't want the monster who followed you to hurt me. But what monster are you talking about? Go away! Go away! This lady's reaction was very strange. But what monster was she talking about just now? Now? I'll go to the next store. I hope the owner of this store will find something for me to do. Since I opened my store, customers kept coming. Really? This work takes up a lot of my time. I would like to recruit someone to replace me as soon as I am not there. Hello sir. Hello young lady. If I'm here, it was to see if you could find me a job in your store. It's good that you're here. Indeed, I was looking to recruit a person to assist me in this store. You will work for me. Besides, if you are available, you can even start today. Great. I am very happy. I will quickly show you the tasks that you should complete. Okay, that works. It had been several days since my roommate left my house. I really thought she was going to come back, but until now I still haven't heard anything like that. I hope she is doing wonderfully now. In any case, if she came back, there is no question that I would take her home. I am very happy, because I had just started the work, which I had to look for. I will be able to save. And, in a few months, I will be able to get my own apartment. So, young lady, is this where you live? Yes sir. What are you looking for here? I followed you when we closed the store door. What? You know what? I'm single. I would love to host you in my house. That way you will have shelter. And then we're going to do good things together. I don't understand you. Be much more explicit. You are a big girl. It's not up to me to tell you what we're going to do. Well, you will be my object of pleasure. No sir. I preferred sleeping in the street than living with you. If she refuses to live with you, then she doesn't work with you either. For what? Besides, who are you? Do you want to know what? You know what? I never want to see you in my store again. Because I wouldn't want the monster that follows you to do any harm. Bye. I can't believe that I had just lost the job I had found today. But what is really happening? What is this entity that is behind me all the time? The way things are going? I must at all costs rise up spiritually. Otherwise, this thing might destroy my life. For a few days, I had been seeing a young girl in the cellar next door. I would go see her to find out the reasons why she found herself in this place. Really, I don't know what to do with my life anymore. Hello young lady. Hi. For a few days, I saw you here. Tell me, don't you have a house? No madam. What happened to you that brought you to this place? You know what? I'm just paying the consequences of my sin. Before, I was a night worker. I sold my body to men, so I could live. However, I decided to stop this job. Today, I am looking for work, but I cannot find any. In the past, I had done a lot of things that did not glorify the Lord. So I'm suffering the consequences. If I understand correctly, you are a Christian then? Yes madam. I am a Christian, but I did not respect the word at all. I was not walking on God's commandments. Before, I lived my life like a pagan. But today, I realize that the sky is falling on my head. All the bad things I did in the past are catching up with me. In addition, there is also a spirit, which pursues me every day. I really don't know what to do anymore, I just got a job today. And at the same time, I had also just lost it because of this spirit. Really, I'm disgusted with life. I really don't know what to do anymore, today, I no longer practice this life of debauchery. But things are getting worse and worse for me. Tell me, what am I going to do, to be able to get out of this situation, because, I can't take it anymore. Young lady, I think you should take a few days of fasting and prayer to seek your deliverance. 
I am also a Christian. If you want, I could find you a small dormitory. No madam. It's very nice of you. You know what? I would like to take three days of fasting and prayer in this cave to ask forgiveness from my God. And also to seek my deliverance. It's good. If you need anything, don't hesitate to come see me. I live just next door. Okay, madam. No, no, this girl is getting away from me. If she really do what she had just said, her God will be able to help her. However, I will not allow it. Oh my God. I ask you for forgiveness for the life I led in the past. I admit that I offended you so much. I had even opened the door to the enemy in my life. However, I come to you today with all my heart. I beg you, my God, have compassion on me and cleanse me through the precious blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. Today I make a commitment to walk in your ways and obey your word. I now make the decision to live in sanctification. May all the doors that I myself have opened in my life be closed. I prayed thus, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Mom, I had just been transferred by my work. And, I really don't know who to entrust my store to. I wouldn't want to close this store either. Because I fought so hard to have it. So, what are you going to do? I would like to hire someone urgently who could replace me in my absence. Don't worry my daughter. I met a young Christian girl the last time. I'm sure she can manage your store in your absence. Great. Thank you so much. Thanks to you, I will be able to go to work peacefully. I would still like to meet this young girl. I think she's there. Ah good. And yes. I would love to get to know her. I'll introduce her to you. Okay anyway, I can't wait to see her. As I told you, I am very delighted to meet you. Same as me. I am enormously touched by the trust you have in me. I promise you, I will take care of your store, as it should be. You know what? You won't be alone. My mother will come from time to time to support you. Okay, that works. I promise you that, I will take good care of your store. I will report back to you regularly via video call. All right. Now I have to go get ready. Perfect. Ah, I forgot. You can also move into my apartment, if you don't mind. With great pleasure. So, are you happy with my daughter's proposal? Yes, I am very happy. I promise you, I will properly take care of your daughter's store and her apartment. All right, it is a pleasure. This girl completely escaped me. Since she began to pray and renounced sin, her God deployed several angels to protect her. I can't even get close to her anymore. Otherwise, I might be destroyed. From now on, I will pursue another person. I infinitely bless the name of the Lord Jesus Christ for its great benefits in my life. Today, I will go see my friend, who kicked me out, to give her my testimony. I sure hope she would be home. Good. I'm ready for work. I hope I will have a lot of customers today. Who is there? Wow. Hello my friend. Good morning. You have changed enormously. I don't even recognize you anymore. Let's sit down so you can tell me what really happened in your life. Alright. Like I told you, this is what happened in my life. There was a spirit that pursued me every day, and I couldn't find work. I had spent a lot of time on the streets. But one day, God gave me grace to meet a lady, to whom I told everything that was happening to me at that moment. And she told me to take a few days of fasting, and to pray. I assure you, after listening to her words, I really took three days of fasting and prayer to ask God for forgiveness. And the Lord heard me. Today, I work in the store that belongs to this lady's daughter. And, I even live in her apartment. Because the latter had been affected by her work. She had confided everything to me. Wow. Oh, you were going to make a success in your life like that. I am very happy for you. Thanks. You know what, I advise you to give your life to Jesus. 
and to abandon this job, which you do. And you will see that he will do great things in your life. You know what? I would love to know where you currently live so that I can visit you one of these days. My pleasure. I'll give you my address. That way you can drop by at any time. Great. Give me a few minutes, I'll be there. Okay. It is not possible. This girl can't succeed in life like that. I thought she was still living on the streets. I absolutely have to know where she lives. Do you want to leave already? Yes. I sent you my address by message. You can come to my house whenever you want. Okay, that works. Thank you so much. See you soon. Yes, see you soon. I can't believe what I just heard. I will never allow this girl to succeed in life more than me. She has no right to be happy. Now I will go see Marabout, so I can destroy her life because I wouldn't like to see her happy. My dearest friend, you don't yet know what awaits you. Soon you will find yourself on the street again. I guarantee you, I will bring back your photos and your belongings, which you had abandoned here, with a marabout, so that the work can be much more accelerated. Because, I would like you to become broke again in the next few days. I would like so much that my friend would also give her life to Christ, like me, to the Lord Jesus, I know nothing is impossible for you. I entrust you with my friend. Glorify your name in her life. As I told you, Master. That's what brings me back here. I would like this girl's life to be completely destroyed. Because I will never allow her to surpass me like that. Don't worry my client. In a few days, his life will be completely destroyed. I'm going to use her photo and her clothes that you just gave me to attack him spiritually and physically. I promise you'll never hear from her again. I will also give you some powder that you will pour in her room, as soon as you go to her house. In the very near future, she will find herself lower than the earth. Great. This is what I wanted, my dear friend. You haven't seen anything yet. Did you think you were going to be able to succeed in life like that very easily? You're really kidding me. I will be your last nightmare. And as long as I live, you will never have peace. It's me who tells you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, part 2 of this video is coming very soon. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Sentinel channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.